everybody. Welcome to the first episode of No Prisoners. I'm Brad Garrett, and this is without question uh, the end of my career. <laughs> Thank you for joining me. The woman I should have married, uh, Jolie Fisher. Tell me about the garage sale behind you. you, you have, uh, what is it, uh, how much for the uh, Howdy Doody doll? There's, what, what there's the bartender. The bartender's right here. Um, oh my God, I had one of those. Did he smoke? And he like mixes drinks. It's fabulous. Yeah, I had one of those I, when I was a kid. See, that's why I became an alcoholic. One of my first gifts, not a rocket or a, or a mechanical car. My mom was like, here's a bartender. Now don't wake me. <laughs> because we're going to be talking about uh, uh, things that have to do with mental health. Did you ever have any problems? I, I mean, tell me. I have to know this. Did you ever? Did you ever drink too much? Did you ever... Did you ever rub chicken schmaltz on your backside and run through Fairfax? What if we get real people to talk about real shit? Mr. Sonos, welcome. Thank you. C can you tell us how this photograph came about? I had initially started taking photos because officers had started firing. And I was like, oh, yeah, this is the perfect time to be taking photos in case anything goes wrong. I have photo evidence of, you know, what happened. And... Lo and behold, that's exactly what happened. Um, All the things you've stopped. I mean, my my hat off to you. How do you get support in this in this environment now? Uh, there's plenty of resources online. Um, so many, you know. Uh, I'm not supposed to say the name. She's a brilliant actress, director, writer, Golden Globe nominee. She was on an incredible groundbreaking show. You were raised in a very famous family. You no, know, my mom and dad sort of met in a in a haze of black beauties and cocaine. Connie Stevens is my mother and oh. Eddie Fisher was my father. Okay. Um Carrie Fisher, my sister. No. How about Bobby Fisher? Anything about Bobby <laughs> Fisher? Big chess player? In the old days certainly people thought that if you saw a therapist you were kind of crazy. Yeah. And as a matter of fact it was a, a shameful kind of thing. People would come in one door from the waiting room yeah. and leave out of a secret back door so yes. no one would see that they were in therapy. I never did that. I mean, you always went in the front door and came out the back door, etc. Yes, but, uh, it was humiliating. But that was, <laughs> it was humiliating for you, but think of me, Brad, <laughs> having to see you. I think what my issue is mostly is I'm... Uh, um, an instant gratification junkie. Yeah, addiction is our topic, but we'll yeah. talk about anything. Okay. Come well, on. you know, I've, I've been sober now 33 and a half years. Wow. Yeah. That is amazing. Let's show one more of Kirk's pictures. I don't have to say anything about this photo. That photo speaks volumes all by itself. All I know is I'm a patient. I'm not a doctor. I've played one on TV and poorly. So that should give you confidence. Uh, my mother was married to an abusive, remember the actor Jim Stacy? Sure. Wh who lost an arm and a leg and in the accident, you know who he is. But anyway, he uh, he was abusive with her and my father was, you know. Well, how can you be abusive with one arm and leg? I, I, I mean, come on. I taught you how to steal oranges, as a matter of fact. That, that, <laughs> that is one of my favorite stories. It's in my book that no one bought. You, you, you want to know something? It's okay. I have nine followers. Now I got seven. But I think the biggest thing is people's mentality towards homeless people need to change. When I end up saying that I believe Jesus was either black or brown, and I have proof, then, then I'll have four people. And I don't care. It's about mental wellness. No prisoners. We, we talk about it. I'm here for you, Nathan, if you just want to talk. Um, I, I, I want cookies, Brad. I don't want to talk. I say, you know, you lost Princess Leia. I lost my mirror. And the, and, and the mm. whole world was like, she was bipolar and had addiction and, and all of this. And if Carrie Fisher can survive this, so can I. And then she didn't. I believe we're all fucked up to varying degrees. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna say that because we're humans, we have baggage, we're raised with shit. We either decide to deal with it or we hide it or we numb it, um, or we find a way to, to just white knuckle our lives.